I missed you. I missed you. Today we're going to talk about... We know about... why we're here. Let the woman speak. If you were so concerned about her speaking, you wouldn't be staring at her breasts. Come on, Diane. You started a shit show around here, huh? And you are the only one that can fix this. So are you offering me my job back? I can't believe you thought that I would be so blind with rage for that woman that I wouldn't be able to see that something was going on here. All right, Oval fans. So apparently... It was brought to my attention that last night's episode was not the mid-season. Apparently, it's going to keep running for uh, maybe one or two more episodes. Look, I was asleep. I ain't going to lie. I did not watch Delilah because, number one, I watched that Thursday through a live stream event. So, I've actually seen the finale days in advance. However, I couldn't do a video on it because they asked to avoid spoilers. So, you'll get your Delilah finale review later today um and apparently there was a trailer for the oval but i didn't see it because it hasn't been posted on social media look that has and have not trailer that we got yesterday plus the 30 minute video i did that took a lot out of me and i needed sleep so i just watched the oval and uh i want to start it off backwards since we didn't get the trailer on social media yet aka I can't download it, get the screenshots, and do a full trailer breakdown. At the moment, all I can do is do a brief trailer breakdown on the end credit scene we got at the end of last night's episode. And this won't be long because there's only like four different things to talk about here. But I will say, and I'll mention this in my episode review, I really wish last night was the mid-season finale. Not because it's like, you know, I was looking forward to the break of not having shows to review because trust and believe I really kind of was. But at the same time, last night's episode was really good. And I just hate the fact that we're just going to continue on because I'm like, well, damn, episode 11, Empty Your Bag, really left on a good note. It was a strong episode. So now if we move forward, I feel like we're going to lose the momentum by kind of having maybe a filler-ish kind of thing. But uh, before we move forward, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Click the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out when I post new content. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And again, this is probably going to be a very brief video, but here we go. Um, Bobby checks in on Lily. Looks like, you know, he makes good on what he told Max he would be doing the night before. Like, hey, tomorrow I'm going to check in on Lily, see what kind of information she has. And it's like, basically, I missed you. I miss you, too. I mean, is it right for him to go check on Lily because of the fact that at this point, I doubt she has any information worth sharing? I mean, they called each other briefly, talking about how we need to get back to, you know, our own lives. You with your wife, me with my husband, despite everything, I still love him. I, it just doesn't make sense. Like you can make the argument, like maybe they were just doing double talk because the line they were talking on could have been tapped. But I just think it's way too soon for Bobby to check in on Lily. Not to mention, I'll mention this in my episode review more. Uh, I know I sound, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but I'm recording this preview first, then the review. It just seems weird. I think Tyler Perry made a major misstep making Bobby acting like a rabid dog who really wants to see his owner. That's basically what it feels like, you know, him trying to run on Lily. Like, man, she hasn't called me. Yet. She hasn't messaged me. Like, dude, she just left 10 minutes ago. Damn. So then seeing him try to calm Max down, it's just a major contradiction. But we go over to the therapy scene. We finally see the family therapy scene. This is something, you know, um, Victoria's actress said in a interview before the season started in regards to, you know, uh, some difficult scenes to film, you know, being Victoria and we'll see Jason, Victoria, and Hunter in the Oval, I believe, speaking with the therapist. Uh, I forget her name. It's Dr. Something. But, you know, she's trying to do, it's like, well, we're all here today. Victoria's like, we know why we're here. Let's get to it. And Victoria's, I mean, Je Hunter's like, let her speak. Well, why don't you focus more on what she's saying as opposed to just looking at her breast? I'm like, well, this is going to be interesting. We go over to Diane, who's asking Donald if he's offering her her old job back because of the fact that they're having their meeting. It looks like they're in his office in the White House. And, you know, he's like, look, Diane, you're the only one who can clean up this shit show you started. So are you offering my old job back? And we have Priscilla. And maybe it's because she wasn't in last night's episode that I didn't miss her presence. I don't hate the character. Don't get me wrong. It's just that 
I just don't fully like the direction they're going with her this season. It's like in season one, you have this, you know, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, like this um, overly chipper, eager to help, good hearted, good natured friend, employee, coworker, what have you. But then you have this just, you know, cold hearted, vengeful. I'm not saying the B word, but, you know, she has a knife. She's just telling Sam. It looks like, you know, Sam is talking with her the next morning in the kitchen. As he's about to go to work, probably just to recap, you know, hey, I went over there with Jake and I saw Gene and Greg. And so basically. What did she say? I can't believe you think I'd be so blind with rage that I couldn't see what's going on here between you. Basically, you know, between him and the first lady. I mean, there's a cutaway where we see, you know, Sam at work and the first lady, I guess you could say, hugging him or something. And I'm just like she takes the knife and then sticks it on the table like, oh. I'm, okay, come on, Priscilla. No, that's exactly why I really wish last night was the finale because I don't want to pick up with this nonsense. That's just me. But overall, the title is called Misunderstood. That could be in relation to the therapy session of Jason just being a misunderstood serial killer. Or Sam misunderstanding Priscilla's feelings. But then again, you know that she definitely didn't understand his feelings back in season one where he wanted a, you know, husband and wife night but she wasn't up for it so sheesh all right guys well that's all i have to say because like i said a preview was short once we get the official trailer which might be uploaded hell it might be today it might be tomorrow but you know as soon as i get my hands on the official trailer i'll be sure to do a breakdown how do you feel about the oval not taking a mid-season hiatus right now are you happy that it's going to continue on uh, I mean, some people are probably happy because of the fact that we have to wait until June 1st for the haves and the have not. So to have just this show to kind of fill in the gap, you know, makes things better. I wonder if this means Ruthless will continue for the next couple of weeks as well instead of taking a break. But I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. My guess is the Oval is going to extend itself until we get news about either House of Pain or Assisted, Li or Assisted Living coming back. Just because I'm really thinking what would fill the Tyler Perry void on BET if his shows aren't on the network. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts below. Like and subscribe. And if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.